solo tent camping disaster so i find it a little bit difficult in this episode battling a major rainstorm i wasn't expecting it to be this intense so thank you for joining me on another episode today it's a pleasure having you here we do get a lot of rain in this one and my top gets blown away this is my trusty top from my early first episodes and i was surprised how windy it got look at that just ridiculous but we recover we still managed to camp out in this uh, rainstorm and in this episode you're gonna see how I battled this and came up with an alternative idea so luckily if you've been following these episodes so far you will know I've set up a few different tent top and camping ideas basically preparing for this moment so when I have some food I'm gonna prepare some omelette and noodles we're gonna sit out near the beach rain and we're gonna demonstrate how we can do this together it's always amazing to be out in nature and I was aware there will be some rain coming but I wasn't expecting it to be so intense so you will see in this episode how we battle this together it's a nice bog area and a lot of nature I always like to check out the trees the leaves the type of uh, foliage and nature around us you see some of the branches are very uh, dead so it's always good to see that and feel it in case we need to start a fire at any point we want the ability to be able to create a fire if we need to so i have a little waterproof poncho here which helps while we're setting up the tent because i was not too sure when the rain would come and when it did come it was drizzling and then slowly it got windy and as that progressed we had to deal with the situation so you'll see here we've come to this location before so if you have been following my series you'll know it's amazing and I like to relax I like to take my time setting up but sometimes when it gets very busy very windy then you need to think about how and when to set up exactly using the right types of pegs so you'll see I had to get some new pegs which are plastic uh, cross shaped to have a little bit more uh, hold in the ground and because the wind was so windy it actually blew over my chair a few times and I had to consider an alternative luckily I have picked up another top and this one is the main top I use and I thought it would be enough but I did have a secondary top which is going to work very well because that's what ends up saving our day and I was still able to camp out so you'll see I knew it was gonna get windy so I set up a secondary location and had that in case because I thought I want to keep my gear uh, dry in a camping scenario the main aim of the goal is be as dry as possible and keep your kit dry if you can accomplish those then you're basically you're doing okay and um, so we got shelter see the chair keeps blowing over the table blew over and uh, it's a case of adapting i want to have a relaxing session however sometimes nature will throw you a curve for it so let's see how we can uh, address this so i'm slowly packing away some of the this gear i've got and i move it over to a secondary location uh, it's always a, a basic setup so when you're doing the top take a little bit of time check the floor right get rid of any sharp objects and luckily there was an overhanging tree which was quite solid I used that to hold up the this top um, and pin down the corners just to create an area which the wind bounces off the top the rain bounces off the top and then I start thinking about some food because it gets quite intense trying to set up a camp in stormy conditions and rainy conditions so having some food brings some energy to you and as the rain was getting more intense I did think about using the second top as like a porch area to my main tent which allowed the rain and wind to not come inside so slowly I think about a, a meal and I get some oil in the pan start warming that up and I've got a simple setup here with the kitchen so over time you'll notice in the earlier episodes I've built up my gear so if you're in this situation slowly take your time see what you need what should you have what is too much is a fine balance when it comes to camping and being out in nature you want just the minimum amount of things to get away with 
uh, having a comfortable relaxing state but you don't want to get stuck in the glamping mode where you're copying or trying to imitate things you would have in like a normal home like you get all sorts of stuff some people have seen having inflatable sofas fridges cupboards and uh, computer games and maybe that's something in the future we can think about but i think when you're out in nature you want to enjoy what we see here water wind air taking the atmosphere and having the basics helps you so something simple to cook on something to burn um, some couple of little plates something to keep the rain away from you warm clothing maybe a second jacket so all of these things are some things you will learn so you can't really I, I've seen a few videos online but when I did this I found it easier to notice what worked and I found that some things I didn't use I didn't bring on my second trip and slowly just bought the essentials so you'll see I'm using a kettle here to actually boil off water and I used it as a pot at the same time because I put noodle in there and the noodle in the hot water over time uh, were ready and I put them over the omelette and having a simple meal like this with some cheese some beans and peas and you know just a healthy option just to give you the energy boost nothing too intense just enough and easy to prepare and this is testing what we can do in future as I do my longer hikes and backpacking trips and we go into uh, more adventurous locations so if you're following along so far we've done a number of these and it's really nice to have you here with me so I appreciate you being here please let me know which are your favorite episodes out of these what do you like the most um, I enjoy these episodes where I'm out in the rain I'm creating some simple food meals and just sharing them with you having a drink watching the waves of the ocean the liver, river the lake and also the uh, wild camping type situations I've done a few of in the, the jungle environments in the, the trees and the timber wood forest so all of them are really good and you'll notice I uh, demolished this food it was amazing and it was like really needed so it's nice and warm I had a good healthy hearty meal and then I could just spend some time looking around and seeing how nature affects us how we've got these amazing beaches I should have bought my uh, fishing uh, rod with me just do a few uh, throws and lures just to see if we, we caught anything is that something you would be interested in I've done a couple of episodes where I like to do a little bit of fishing and just seeing what type of fish are in the water I do catch and release so I'm not really in the scenario of killing or eating so I like to do that so keep that in mind the the rain is picking up the weather's changing as times change weather's changing so where possible try and get outdoors and enjoy your time outside because I think it's important to understand it's it's we can all get drawn up into a busy life but when you're out you're in nature you'll notice I'm not too far from a busy town you can see the skyline behind me so we are still in touch with the busy life but this moment that we share together here it just gives us that relaxation and if you're not able to get out and do this yourself don't worry you've got me here you're here with me we're doing this journey together so you've basically attended this journey with me and you've spent some time relaxing i'm hoping these give you a moment of inspiration and uh, rain wind as as atrocious as it can be as um, bad as it can be it is something that we need to be able to deal with so if something like this does happen how do we deal with it you basically have a secondary option and you try and relax take a deep breath and like in life we want to be able to continue doing and succeeding in our area so you'll notice this is a nice small session here there is a longer version of this episode on my channel which you may find interesting but I wanted to do some uh, episodes where I actually narrate over and you'll see how windy it was they actually bent the pegs and pulled them out of the ground so I feel like adding this extra element of speaking to you about my journeys um, it lets me explain a little bit more and it helps us both spend some time and relax and understand how camping works if you prefer the other videos I have got a full playlist of just camping sounds where I don't speak over my video and narrate the episode but I'm kind of uh, 
thinking about how I can share more with you because I feel like I can speak with you like this. It helps us both understand the journey of relaxation. So I pack my camp away and then slowly make my way back out and prepare for the next adventure. So stay tuned and on screen you should see another episode in this series. And I'm doing one of these every week. So thank you very much and I'll see you on the next episode.